Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a quick look at how to create a web page just using a very simple text editor on your computer. So let's get started. First, you're going to need a text editor, and the most popular one on most Windows computers is Notepad. So I'm going to open up Notepad here. And you'll see Notepad's very simple. Just lets you basically type text in, right? There's nothing too fancy about it. Now, when creating a web page in a text editor, basically, a web page uses this language called HTML. It's hypertext markup language. It's a very simple little language that uses something called tags. Tags are like little commands that tell the browser that's going to be looking at your web page how it's supposed to show the web page. So let's get started with this. The first tag we're going to put is HTML. Uh, you don't have to put this tag, but this tag is nice to put there because it lets the browser know what's following is going to be HTML. Now you'll notice the tag is wrapped up inside these chevrons here, little triangle braces. Tags are all wrapped up inside those triangle braces. So find them on your keyboard, the shift comma, the shift period, and you're going to use them a lot. Now once I use this tag, HTML, what it's doing is it's basically saying, hey, I'm turning HTML on. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give our page a title. There's a tag for that and the tag is title. Now once you start this title tag, what happens is it's expecting you to write the title of the page. So I'm going to call it my page. Now that I'm done my title, I want to somehow tell the browser when it reads this file, that's it, title's over. Well, it's really easy. It's forward slash title. So notice how these tags work. Title tag starts, you write the title, and then title tag ends. The ending tags, or the closing tags, are always with a forward slash, okay? And then usually the same tag name. So that's not too bad. Title on, title off, whatever's between, that's the title. Once you've got the title of the page done, we're going to do something called the body of the page. So start the body. Once you say the body started, this is what the user actually gets to see you're going to see where the title ends up. The title ends up up at the top of the browser in a tab. The body of the web page, this is the actual stuff they see. So let's just write something like this, like, welcome to my page. Now let's say that's going to be my entire web page. That's all it does. Okay, it's very exciting for the first one. Now I'm finished. So to be a good HTML uh, writer, we're going to end the body. And then we're also going to end HTML. Okay, so it's all done. Now, it's easy to make a typo. If you do this, that might mess the page up a lot. If you forget to put one of these triangles, that's going to mess the page up a lot. So when you're doing it by hand in Notepad like this, you have to be careful that all the spelling, all the tags are closed and open properly, and there's no little errors, right? And that's part of sort of scripting and coding, right? You have to be careful with what you type. Now, of course, you want to be excited to see this in action. How do we actually get this to show up in our browser? Well, here's what we do. We have to save this as a .html file. So you guys are probably familiar, like a text file ends with .txt. Or maybe a Microsoft Word document ends in .doc. Some music files end in .mp3, right? Some movies end in .mp4. These are the extensions. What we want to do is give this file the extension .html. That'll be recognized by Chrome, Explore, Firefox, Safari, whatever you're using to surf the web. It'll see that .html ending, and that way it'll open it and read it like a web page and show it to you. So let's just save this with the .html extension. File. Save as. Now. You have to pick a spot to save this. I'm just going to do it, everything on the desktop in this video so it's nice and easy to find. So desktop, and I'm going to type a name here. Now, a very popular name for the home page of websites is index. And so I'm going to call mine index.html. We'll talk more about index later on. So notice, index.html, give it a save. 
and you'll see what it's done on my computer. I have Chrome set as my default browser. There's the file on the desktop. It's recognized as a HTML file. And when I double click it, get ready for the magic. There it is. Now I'll make it a little bigger here, zoom in. You may be saying to yourself, that's not the most exciting page. Of course it's not exciting. We took like 30 seconds to make it, right? But you'll see everything works here. There's the title my page so that's why you're not seeing the title it's not a title you see okay it's just a title of the tab so if I bookmark the page that's what people bookmark there's the body right the body of the page that's where it all started so take a peek at the notepad file here and just see what we've done this generated this web page that's not a lot of writing right not too bad come back for the next video where we got to find out, well, how do you start to make this look a little better, uh, show the text differently, links, pictures, etc., etc. Thanks for watching.